You're listening to My Devotional, the daily devotional from Dr. Michael Youssef and Leading the Way. Raised Up to Run to the Lost by Dr. Michael Youssef. In ancient times, runners were often used to carry messages between an army and its king, such as the good news of a victory in battle. In a similar way, God is calling believers to run and declare the good news of Christ's victory, the ultimate victory announcement of all time. In Isaiah 52, 1-12, through 12, Isaiah was announcing good news to the people of Israel during their terrible exile in Babylon. Through Isaiah, God declared that he would answer his people's cries for freedom and release them from their captivity. However, while Isaiah was directly speaking to God's people during that particular historical time, he was also speaking indirectly to us, inspired by the Holy Spirit, about our deliverance from sin through Jesus Christ. Today, many people are looking for deliverance that only Jesus can provide. Billions of people around the world remain unreached by the gospel. They're oppressed by the burden of sin, in need of the freedom offered through Christ alone, and seeking to worship the one true God. Some of them may be your own friends, family, or neighbors. The masses are waiting to hear, and God calls his people to run and tell them. All of us are called to be a part of his global mission, to heed the final task given to the church by Christ himself. When we fulfill this calling, we are embodying the message of the prophet from Isaiah 52, 7. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation. When we share the good news with a dying world, pray for the spread of the gospel, and support any work advancing God's kingdom, he is pleased. Each time we obey to fulfill his call, God says that this is beautiful. Even now, God is preparing hearts to receive his truth. He's promised that a great multitude among the nations is his. At the same time, he's raised us up to run to our soon-to-be brothers and sisters in Christ with the message of his love so that they can become part of his family forever. So then, let us go to the Lord in prayer and ask him, what is my part to play in this great drama of redemption? Let's pray together. Father, may we not shy away from the glorious work of sharing your gospel with the nations, even if we should feel uncomfortable. We pray that we would become less and that you would become more for the furthering of your kingdom. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you enjoy this daily devotional podcast, Dr. Youssef invites you to help share this life-changing truth with others. This June, you can double your impact through the June Gift Challenge. Visit ltw.org and give to partner with us today to see lives transformed in Christ. If today's devotional encouraged you, we'd love to hear about it. Leave a review and share this episode with a friend who needs to hear it. My devotional is a ministry of leading the way with Dr. Michael Youssef. To learn more, visit ltw.org today.